Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader uh nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. I uh, hope everybody is, well, living your best life. So let's not beat around the bush. Let's talk about with the, the man of the hour, the woman of the hour, the hour of the hour, the one, the only NVIDIA. So Biggest question going into today's session was, how is the market going to react to the Fed minutes that we already knew what they said two weeks ago, right? And the second question was, well, how is NVIDIA going to react, especially after a 250-point run-up? Here are the totals, right? Here's kind of basically the totals of what NVIDIA reported. Uh, $22 billion in revenue, so they beat uh, on revenues, they beat on gaming, uh, they beat on adjusted gross margins, R&D expenses, justice expenses, cash flow. The only thing they did not uh, do well with is a 4.4% decline in their automotive revenue. Still uh, very, very healthy. Nevertheless, nevertheless, uh, NVIDIA is up a lot. Right, it's up about 75 points uh, after the close, and you can see where it is, and maybe it'll test it as I'm recording this video. But you can see where it is. Uh, Nvidia is literally up here. My e signal doesn't doesn't um, uh, doesn't change until uh, until after uh, until the regular session. So let's just see in the next five ten minutes if Nvidia can get above the 746 all time high, because that's exactly where it stopped here. Uh, after hours, but absolutely incredible, uh, incredible move. And as you can imagine, uh, NVIDIA is taking everything up with it. Uh, SMCI is up 90 points. Uh, ARM is up 10 points. Uh, AM AMD is up 7 points. So basically speaking is, if you're not long anything going into tomorrow sec tomorrow's session, kids leave the room, adults about the curse. Well, you're shit out of luck. Right, you should out of luck because realistically, then tomorrow you're in, uh, you're in the corner of well, do I chase performance, right? Do I chase performance, or do I wait for a pullback that doesn't come, or do I wait for a pullback and hope for for a bounce into the after hours highs? The point is, you as a trader, now, again, I don't care uh, if you played Nvidia today after the close, if you took something else. Realistically, any exposure you had, long or short. Any type of technology names going into tonight's overnight, you were going long, basically, essentially, NVIDIA into earnings. If you did do well with it, congratulations. That's awesome. The rest of us who are flat technology going into this earnings report, now we got to figure out what the hell we do, right? What the hell we do? And the problem was, usually, it's not a big deal. But if you traded today, today was a very sloppy session. One of the sloppiest I can remember in a long time. The market went up. And then the market lost the lows. And then the market took out the lows again. And then the market rallied into the minutes. And then the, and then the, the tips auction came out. And the market got slammed. The market started rallying. And then the market got slammed. The market got slammed. The market got slammed. Only to rally at the end of the day. And only to see where we are right now. Yes. Is trading fair sometimes? No. Life is fair. Is not fair. Trading is not fair. Get over it. Like I had a very sloppy day today. Probably one of the sloppiest days that I can remember in a long time. Who cares? It's all right? Who cares? You take the good, you take the bad, you have the short memory, right? Like I say, certain days uh, you are the pigeon, certain days you are the windshield. Today I was a little bit of a windshield, but that's okay. It doesn't make a difference. The most important part is long-term thinking, right? Long-term thinking, long-term appreciation from your capital, and long-term the ability not to prostitute your capital when you have a sloppy day. I recognize it was a sloppy day very, very quickly. I quickly got out of the way. You know, I shorted the, you know, some Tesla uh, towards the end of the day, caught a little bit of cash flow on the way back, but it doesn't make a difference, right? It's kind of an irrelevant day. And when you have an irrelevant day, whether you're up a little bit, down a little bit, or flat, 
it's kind of the cost of doing business. Every trader ran into the same sloppy market as the rest of us today. Believe me, your quotes are not different than mine. And the most important part is it's over, right? It's over. There's no point to sulk. There's no point to talk about it or have uh, any type of opinion about it. Just like we were 16 years old, it doesn't make a difference anymore. It's in the past. And that's the most important point. So the question is, how the hell now do we tackle tomorrow's session, right? Obviously, with everything exploding, especially the semiconductor group uh, over, you know, overnight, obviously, the first move into rising support on any stock is going to be important. What I mean by rising support, you see all those lines that a lot of new traders tell a 25-year-old veteran uh, that's been trading for 25 days, hey, Dan, how can we have so many lines? Well, those are the lines that kind of tell us where rising support is. It also going to tell us where the rejection levels are. So at some point, one of these lines need to be tested. When it does get tested, we'll see how it handles those lines and potentially have a remount or a bounce uh, in layman's terms. That's the best way at least I can at least justify tomorrow's day. Tomorrow, if you are a brand new trader, is it the greatest day for you to trade, especially after today's slop fest? Probably not. Uh, I've always maintained the idea not every single day is good for every single body. Uh, matter of fact, show me one trader today that traded technology was, was a good day for today. Maybe you got lucky, maybe you made some money. But the rest of us, it was like a pick slop, right? I was literally rolling around in the mud. Uh, and once I figured out, like I said a couple of minutes ago, that, hey, this is just not my tape. I'm not getting any continuity here. I'm not getting a rhythm. I'm not getting a flow. I just literally got out the way to like three hours later, four hours later, when I literally scalped some uh, Tesla into a rejection area into supply. So we'll see. You know, we'll see what happens there. But that at least is my initial reaction for tomorrow's session. If you want to sit out tomorrow's session, hey, God bless. Again, we, we want our days to be boring. We want our days to be lethargic. We want our days to be predictable. Tomorrow's going to be an exciting day. Tomorrow is going to be, instead of running into the beach with a beautiful sunset or a beautiful, you know, warm day, tomorrow you are running into the beach. The problem is you are running into the eye of the hurricane. Maybe it's your thing. It's probably not mine. But tomorrow you have to be very, very selective, very, very uh, aware of what you're doing. Majority of days when we putting on a risk profile, right? A risk profile, uh, we are identifying a day that we can put as a reward to risk ratio. Tomorrow is the opposite. Tomorrow is a risk to reward ratio because everything's already exploding and people are going to try to try to uh, justify chasing something because they're trying to play catch up. That's a huge, huge recipe uh, for a disaster. However, there are a couple of names that actually look pretty good for tomorrow uh, that is not uh, related to uh, technology. So let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about it. Look at chart on Oxy. Yeah, I said it. That's where our update is leading up to today. We are seven and a half minutes into the video, and I just said Oxy. Yeah, damn it. That's right. That's what kind of day we're looking at tomorrow. So anyway, for all you guys who do trade in stock like Oxy, not a bad looking chart, right? Keep an eye on this thing above the top of the range. Not a bad looking chart. Tesla today had a kind of a weird session. Uh, Tesla today attempted to uh, really, really explode at the top of the range. And then the stock got killed and now it's rallying again. So there is a two-sided trade I'd like to watch for uh, tomorrow on Tesla, either above today's highs or above below the bottom range here on uh, February 15th. And today's channel, uh, this looks pretty interesting. But the point is, guys, look, I know a lot of you guys uh, went overnight, long, short into earnings. God bless. That's all I can say. Absolutely God bless. I don't judge anybody. Um, you know, your dime, your dance floor, you're all a grown ups, but boy, I'm telling you, man, don't make it a habit, right? Don't make it a habit. Desperation, uh, is a really, really terrible trait to have as a trader. You, you never want to trade out of desperation. You never want to trade out of fear. You never want to trade, uh, out of, uh, out of raw emotion, hate, love, superseding everything else. It's all about the risk parameters. And when you're trading into earnings, that's all it is, right? Again, tomorrow, you have 10 games in the NBA. It's a lot more exciting uh, betting a three-hour sporting event than buying something into earnings. But again, for all you guys who did it, congratulations. The two stocks did not participate uh, in any earnings romp or, uh, well, two, uh, two EV names, uh, Lucid. Lucid, man, I could have told you Lucid was going to miss earnings, right? 
depending where you live, like I live in, um, I live in Morristown, New Jersey, Mor as Morris County, excuse me. I live in Morris County, New Jersey. We have literally a lucid showroom at the Short Hills Mall, right? I think I've seen three lucids probably in the last two, three years. I have seen Rivians around, not as much, uh, not as much as people in the West Coast, but I have seen Rivians around. I really like their trucks. Uh, stock is getting hit after the close as well. So not everything is uh, taking part in the NVIDIA, you know, NVIDIA scenario. So tomorrow, guys, I'm telling you as the day is long, it's going to be a challenging day. Your emotions are going to be put to the test. Don't let it, folks, okay? Do not let your emotions uh, drive your ability to stay solvent. You know, tomorrow is just like any other trading day. Nothing more, nothing less. It's all about value. And if you're chasing something up 60, 70, 80, 90 points, 100 points, you got to ask yourself, how bad do you really want to make it uh, as a professional trader? So that's it, guys. I, I know it's crazy. Not the greatest update in the world. Believe me, it took me a while to convince myself to even do an update today just because uh, the ramification, what's on deck for us tomorrow. But again, that's the whole part of trading, guys. You sign up for it when you open up your first brokerage account. You sign up for the good, the bad, the extreme, the irrational, the rational, the euphoric, the depression, everything rolled up. Why do you think, you know, why do you think depression drugs are still doing well? Everybody's a freaking trader. All jokes aside, guys, God bless tomorrow. Stay safe. Let's see what we have tomorrow. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe something will fall into our lap. Maybe we'll get that perfect bounce. We never know. But this is why we always talk about trading is the greatest reality show that's not on television. Tomorrow is my normal evening off. If you like the content, guys, if you like what we're doing, all we ask is, guys, just take a second, click a like. It'll help us out. It'll help provide value to you guys. And more important, folks, stay healthy, and I will see you all on the field tomorrow. God bless.